Hare Krishna, today we are reading from Sri Vraja Mandala Parikrama, Kokilavana and other pastime places, Viharavana. Viharavana lies one and a half miles southwest of Ramaghata. Darshan of the Bihariji temple and Vihara Kunda is recommended. Vraja Bihari Krishna together with Radhika and the gopis perform rasa and other kinds of amorous pastimes at this charming place near Sri Yamuna. Although most of the forests of Raja have been cut down, Viharavana remains somewhat protected. Even today, cuckoos sing and thousands of peacocks make their keka sound here. And during the rainy season, they dance and drop their feathers. There are many beautiful kunjas, kadamba groves and many kinds of creepers here. When one visits this place, sweet remembrances of Krishna's pastimes will manifest in one's heart. In the cow shed here, the very beautiful cows, jumping calves and intoxicated looking bulls awaken sweet memories of Sri Krishna's cow grazing pastimes. Akshaya Vata Akshaya Vata is also called Bhandira Vata and is situated two miles south of Ramaghata. Shri Krishna, Balarama and the Sakhas played many games in the shade of this banyan or Vata tree. They especially liked to wrestle here. Baladeva killed Pralamba Sura at Akshaya Vata. Once, during cow herding, Sri Krishna and Balarama left the cows to graze in the lush green fields and went off to play with the Sakhas. They divided themselves into two groups, one headed by Krishna and the other by Baladeva. The game they played had a rule that each boy in the group that lost had to carry the boy who had defeated him on his shoulders from Bandiravata to a fixed place some distance away and then back again. Pralamba Sura, a demon sent by Kamsa, assumed the form of a beautiful Sakha and joined Krishna's team. Krishna knowingly encouraged the new Sakha to play and kept him on his team. Shri Krishna was defeated by Shri Dhamma and Pralamba Sura by Balarama. According to the rules, Shri Dhamma sat on Shri Krishna's shoulders and Balarama on Pralamba Sura's. Krishna made his way towards the appointed place, but the wicked Pralamba Sura ran instead to a place that was deep and isolated. After some time, he assumed his hideous Rakshasa form. Kamsa had instructed him to kill Baladeva before killing Krishna. At first, Baladeva Prabhu was uncertain about what to do. But upon receiving a clue from Krishna, he split the head of the demon with one blow of his fist. Pralambasura vomited blood and collapsed to the earth. When Krishna and the Sakas arrived there, they embraced Balarama and praised his strength and fortitude. The following pastime also took place at Akshaya Vata. One day, Srimati Radhika, the Sakis and Sri Krishna were playing together here. The Sakhi said to Krishna, Pranavalabha, you always boast that you have defeated even expert wrestlers. But why is it that Sri Dhamma defeated you? Sri Krishna answered, that is entirely untrue. No one in the whole universe can defeat me. I have never been defeated by Sri Dhamma. Radhika replied, If that is so, then we gopis are ready to wrestle with you. If you defeat us, then we will understand that you are the topmost wrestler. The gopis dressed themselves as wrestlers and Srimati Radhika wrestled with Krishna, easily defeating him. The Sakhis clapped their hands and praised her. Since Sri Krishna and the Sakhas wrestled and performed physical exercise here, the village near Akshayavata is called Kashrata. The word Kashrata means Kasrat Karna or to perform physical exercise. 
It also means kushti karna or to wrestle. When the ancient banyan tree that stood here disappeared, a new one was planted in its place. Note that the Bhadiravata situated in Bhandiravana is a different pastime place on the other side of the Yamuna. Agiyara Gao or Ara. The village of Agiyara is situated two miles southwest of the village of Kashrata. It is located in the middle of Munjatavi where Krishna used to take the cows to pasture. Once Krishna was playing with the Sakhas in the shade of Bhandiravata. Nearby, the cows drank water from the Yamuna and began to graze on the lush green grass in the fields. In doing so, they gradually wandered off to Munjatavi some distance away. It was a summer day and the scorching heat was drying up the Munja plants and baking the sand on the ground. The cows had roamed off without Krishna and now they entered this Munja forest which was devoid of water and shade. This Munjatavi was so dense that they lost track of the path by which they had come. Overwhelmed with thirst and heat, the cows became restless. In their search for the cows, the Sakhas had also left Krishna and Balarama and entering Munjatavi, they too became agitated by thirst and heat. It was then that the followers of the wicked Kamsa set Munjavana on fire. Within a moment, the wind had spread the fire everywhere so that it surrounded the cows and the cowherd boys. Seeing no other means of escape, they began to cry out to Krishna and Baladeva who heard their call and immediately went to them. Close your eyes for just a moment, Krishna told them and in that moment he swallowed the terrible forest fire. Upon opening their eyes, the Sakha saw that they were now standing with Krishna and Baladeva in the cooling shade of Bhandiravata. The cows peacefully lie nearby chewing their cud. The jiva suffering in the forest fire, a material existence, can similarly be easily delivered from this suffering simply by taking shelter of Krishna. Another name for Munjatavi is Ishikatavi. On the other side of the Yamuna is the village of Bhandira. Thank you. Hare Krishna.